Black. Um, this is my movie, uh, Duncan. I'm here to talk about it. The plot of, the, of Duncan is basically, it centers around a group of friends who um, sort of hang out at a Duncan. My character uh, used to kind of roll with these guys and they robbed Duncans in their past. Word, word is a word. Yeah. It's a word, it's a, a promise. And a man to a man, that's it. It's your word, your promise. You promised your word. Totally, when two men sit down, they look each other in the eyes and they say, I'm saying something to you. You're gonna listen to what I say yeah. because what I'm saying is a fact, it's not a fiction. I am Skylar Freeman and I play Shayla um, in the film. But let me ask you something. You like my body? I love your fucking body. You love my fucking body? You know I love your body. So what the fuck is the argument about? The way that women are represented in Duncan, I think, sets an example for all of Hollywood. Remember when you parked his car on your cat's grave? <sighs> you fucking asshole. That cat was on this earth for nine years, which is five years longer than my daughter. And that's a big part of the story with Benji. Um, it's kind of like this this, this is the, this growth moment. Look at you now. You show up in this pink tank top. You can't fucking. Fucking tits hanging you, out. Okay. What the fuck? I can't, for, you know me, I'm weak. Stop it. No, stop it. You are, you fucking weak. You want Duncan? You want some Duncan? Because you know I have some. Come on, stop it. You know I have Duncan. Stop it. You got a kid now. I got a kid now. I know. That's my kid. Your kid is my kid. We got kids together. She has so many facets to her. She's sort of like a like a um, one of those uh, those twelve sided dies um, dice dies that um, people use. Um, Look, we're gonna do a Duncan next week. All right. Why don't you do a Duncan right now with me? I got a bunch of Duncan. We'll just we'll go to Duncan. I'm gonna dunk you. And we'll do a little bit of Duncan. Yeah, what you want? You know, dunk you. You know I want to dunk you. Yeah. yeah. Is that what you want? I want you to dunk me fucking so hard. Yeah. All of a sudden, he gets sucked back into the old ways and the old life, and that's kind of uh, where Grady comes in. He's played by Chaz Reinhardt. They wouldn't let me at the Duncan, but the thing is, Benji, I, want, I wish you had been there because we would have gotten all of the Duncan. Grady's one of those, uh, he's one of those, like, um, he's a hurt soul. Look, I was there for three to five. Dude, I was in Duncan for three to five. At, like, at least three to five. I was oh, ripping on Twilight. You ended up in the ER. I was at the ER. That was the fifth to third time I've been on, at the ER. I feel like a lot of people can relate to this movie because, like, it's about a bunch of, like, it's about a bunch of cool-ass guys who, like, have done wrong but, like, are good guys. No killing. All right? No one's got to die. Why are you look at me when you say that, huh? Why are you looking at me when you say no kill? You got fucking you got what happened at the holiday party. We actually employed a lot of uh, gang members, local gang members from Duncan to be in Duncan, which was great because I think it really gave it a, an authentic vibe. Yeah, yeah, they got me because uh, I was one of the neighborhood kids. I didn't get no Duncan. I didn't get no fucking Duncan. You can't do shit to me. Was in uh, fucking a juvie for like two and then it came out, it wasn't bad. Some of our smaller uh, roles are played by actual criminals who have zero acting experience. Rolling, be speed. So speed. All right, so Murph, I'll just cue you by being like, how's it, how's it going in there, do you not want to? I just want to know how I'm supposed to feel. Am I mad or am I sad? I got to know okay, if I'm okay. mad or sad. Right. Nobody told me if I'm supposed to be mad or I'm supposed to be sad. All right. Um, Isn't that acting? Yeah, well. 101. Yeah, yeah, they, uh, they, they, they saw my stash. Uh, you know, I was uh, working, uh, Working down at the docks and uh, approached by Mr. Reflect and he uh, he saw my my stash. He said, "You got, you got one mustache in the movie," and he uh, he can't grow one. I was at the I was at, like I'm a Hollywood secret. I don't know. For this particular moment, I don't think you have to be mad or sad. How about this? The guy's empty inside. He's dead inside. No toilet paper after he goes and he feels nothing. Let's try that. Let's try dead inside. Dead inside. Okay. All right. Hey, how's it going in there? There's no toilet paper. Beautiful cut. All right. Yeah, but this is this acting is, is fucking easy, bro. Where'd Grady go? He went to the store. Great. Not into camera though. Okay, my bad. Dude, can I be can I be like yeah. disgusting? I'm getting more pussy than I ever got. <laughs> really? Yeah, man. Just like the girls are walking by there. Oh, uh. dude, it, it is nice, man. Boston is really cold, and to me that. There's so much honesty in that. Pour some out for Frankie, right? No, oh, Frankie. Frankie, man. He got so he got so hopped up on Duncan, he fell asleep out in the street one night by South Storo, 
It was a cold night. He froze, he froze to death. Froze to death. He fucking died. Anybody ever uh, think about warming Frankie up? You know, like uh, after, you know, bring him back to life? You know, you, when you freeze, you come, you know, it's like a Walt Disney thing, right? I think the problem is uh, we don't have, uh, we, 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 uh, he, uh, he's not cold still. He's stuck. Oh, he's yeah, that's the thing. If you're gonna, if you freeze, you gotta stay frozen. It's like a beer, you know, Otherwise, skunks. Skunks. Just like Duncan. Just, Just like Duncan, Duncan, if your Duncan goes warm, I mean, Just it's, like Duncan. Ooh. When you, it loses the power. I think the second you meet Benji's character, you realize, you know, here's a guy that needs to make a choice, and he needs to make it soon. You know, is it gonna be family, or is it gonna be something else? Bro, you ever been to, like, a warm weather, what do you call it, like a tropical place? Never. No. Never. Saw a postcard once of uh, Miami. Yeah. He got mixed up with the wrong crew, but like deep down, he's like, a, he's a good guy. Benji's a good guy. Yeah, I fucking know he's a good guy. Like right? deep down though, no, 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 not just because you guys do whatever it is that you do together. <laughs> I'm talking like a good human being. You think he's a fucking good guy, deep down? He's a good guy. Listen, he's been there for me in every sort of way. You know, that's the thing that we all knew about him, like going into it, the writing of the character, he was, he's a good guy. Like, I know I've fucked up a lot. Like, Teresa, like, I know, but like, I have fucked up. And like, Grady, like, everything in the past, like, but I am a good guy deep down. You know that I am. You're a good girl. And for me, that's even better. Well, the thing is, I'm directing this film as well. And I also wrote it. And I'm most excited for people to see the awesome action sequences we have in store for them. On set, we had real Duncan. A couple sips and I was flying off the bat. And you know, so like I can feel how people just get hooked on it. And so, that was easy. I need help, I need help. I fucking do this for you, all right? You gotta fuck Is she with you? No, man, I swear, I swear. I've been off it, I've been off it. Fine. At the end of the day, this movie's about loyalty. It's really, it's about loyalty, it's about brotherhood, it's about two friends. What happens when you grow up and you sort of grow away from your old, your old habits, the old neighborhood gang, you know. I just moved to the north south side. I just moved over there. I know. Now I gotta come back to this Duncan bullshit. This is your home, man. You can't just you can't just turn your back on it. Look, man, we've all hit rock bottoms. The script is so good and the writing is so amazing. My life and your life, they used to be side by side, and now they're not. Ben Affleck is an amazing director, and these characters are so good, and all the acting is unbelievable. I mean, like, you need this Duncan just as much as I need this Duncan. September 25th, you guys, uh, Duncan hits theaters. Um, it's gonna be cool. I'm gonna do one more. So, September 15th, 2015, Duncan hits theaters everywhere nationwide. September 11th, 2015, Duncan hits theaters everywhere. Make sure to check it out. Please, please go see it. You will enjoy it. It's very good. Thank you.
rolled down the window, and then uh, he asked me about my mother, which was nice, you know. Uh, and then I said, Jenna's going to shit. She's going to fucking shit. <laughs> so, if you're going to shit, do it. Who is she? She lives on the northwest east side, all right? Oh! Okay! Northwest east side. Wow. What's her name? Is she a Murphy? Is she a Murphy? Her first name's Murphy, yeah. First name's Murphy. Her first name's Murphy? <laughs> Ladies, please, have either of you spent any sort of time in a Duncan before? Have you guys spent any considerable- You know my fucking dad was in Duncan since That's I was your father, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your father, your father Ronnie, he was in Duncan for who knows how many times, but like- Ronnie's not even your real dad. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ladies. To watch the first 60 seconds of my new film, Duncan, click the link below.